Hi, I'm Naomi from WP Tofu. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a map that automatically filters out items on the map based on user's current location using Jet Engine and Jet Smart filters. Are you ready for this? Let's get started. We are going to use three plugins, Elementor, Jet Engine, Jet Smart Filters. But if you want to use Gutenberg, you don't need Elementor. Next, we are going to enable map feature of Jet Engine. Go to Jet Engine and go to Map Listings and Save. And refresh the page. And now you see map settings here. So click this. And here you can choose map provider. There are free ones. But I have a Google API key, so I'm going to choose Google. Put in your API key here, and that's it. Next, let's create a new post type. So go to post types, add new, and I'll name it cafe. And the slug will be cafe as well. And all we need is just a address field. So create address, and name, I'll put the underscore here. And to just differentiate underscore address object type field field type let's choose map okay that's it click add post type next let's start creating instances of cafe post type so go to new cafe and i always go to cafe called d18 and now the address here's a map so you can find your cafe from here i know it's a little bit hard to find but i'm in budapest and i'll find my cafe here so i found d18 cafe so i'm going to press this button here then now you see there's this red i know it's overlapping with orange so it's hard to see but you see this is now pinned and now you see here's a coordinate latitude and longitude so this is good to go so publish now i'm going to create more instances of cafe post type okay so i created these six different cafes now we're going to create a listing item so go to jet engine listings and add new this was listing a source post. Post type is cafe. So cafe listing item. And listing view elementor. Create listing item. This listing item will be shown when user clicks a pin on the map. And we want to show the information of the cafe, but all we have is the title. So let's say type in dynamic field and drag and drop. So we can just show the title. Okay, maybe we can just center it. All right, and maybe just uh, make it bold. That's it. Update and go back to the dashboard. Okay, we are ready to create a map now. So go to new, page, and let's say my favorite cafes. And template, let's use Elementor Canvas. And let's press edit with Elementor. Let's search for map and map listing and search for cafe. Cafe listing item. And the important thing is address meta field here. So I tried putting address here, that's a meta field, and it actually works, right? Looking, looks like it's working. But also, I tried in here, use lat NNG, so latitude and longitude address meta field. I pressed in here, and it works. The explanation says for human readable address. 
but we're not putting there human reader address. It, we're putting the latitude and longitude. So I think proper ways here. But yeah, both works. Now we need to add, of course, there are some options, but it's very obvious in you know, map height, post numbers. We need to have marker. And marker is the pin on the map. So icon plus map. And there are several different ones you can choose. Maybe I'll choose this one. Okay, now there's a giant pin here. All right. I know it's ready, but uh, I want to change the color of the pin. So icon. So maybe pin to be something like this. Yeah, how does it see? Okay, maybe red. All right. All right, then let's publish it. And have a look. So now you see all those six locations are showing. One and two and three. So all adds up in six. So now I'm in Budapest. There are these locations. And if you I click, so now D18 shows up. Echo Cafe shows up, right? So it's working. What if we want to filter out like other locations and also just focus and load a specific location? Let's say if I want to load just Prague. How do I do that? What we need is a custom query. So go to Jet Engine, Query Builder, add new, and let's name it Frag map query. Query type post query. Post type. Let's choose cafe. And go to GeoSearch. Now we want to find Prague here. So where is Chechia? Okay. Prague is here. And near the cafe you set just drop the pin. Again, well, center is fine here. Okay. So now here is the pin. And here's the latitude and the longitude. And you can also reset the location. And you set address here. I mean the address field. So address field the name is address. And you have to set the distance. What, does, what this means is from this location, you know, the distance, the radius, like kilometers. Now we can set the kilometers like this. Let's say 20 kilometers. Like 20 kilometers from this radius. That's the only place that this map will find cafes. That's what it means. So go to add query. Then go back to the this page. But you probably need to refresh the page so that the query is going to show up. Okay, so now go down with this edit map listing. Then here's a custom query. So enable it and select Prague map query. So now the map, this is actually Prague and just showing those two. Let's update and see the actual page. Okay, see, this is a Prague, right? But what's interesting is now it doesn't show anything, anything else. Only showing the 20 kilometers radius of, I mean, from the Prague. Now, I went back to this geo search section of the query. Let's update to 20,000 kilometer. So go back to this map. Refresh. See, now all of them shows up. This feature is very useful when you want to show a specific location's map and show properties around it. But what if you want to show properties around the current location of the user who is checking out the site? To do that, we need to use Jet Smart Filters. We haven't used it yet, right? So go to Smart Filters, add new. Let's say Geo Filter. Geo Filter and the filter type user geolocation and here is query variable and it's required however 
Geolocation doesn't really use any query variable. So you can put whatever you want. And you really need to put something. So I just put the underscore here and publish it. Now let's go back to the page we were editing and search for GEO, Geo. So user geolocation and drag and drop to anywhere you want because this doesn't have any visual part. So select a filter, Geo filter. So GEO, Geo filter. This filter is for jet engine map. Okay. And update. Next, let's go back here and let's change back to 20 kilometers again. And update query. Now, let's go back to the page with the map. You see, we are back to Prague. This is normal, right? Because we reverted to 20 kilometers instead of 20,000 kilometers. But now, this website wants to know your location. So let's allow it. And wait for a bit. It jumped to the Budapest. That's where I am right now. So what happened? By default, it goes to Prague because we set the default location with the query. But by putting GeoFilter, now the default location moved to the user's current location. So wherever I am, from there, 20 kilometer radius, they find properties and everything else disappears. What did you think? I hope this tutorial helps you to understand better about the map feature. Thank you for watching.